Customization and personalization, these were two very important design uh, agendas for us in this game. We really wanted to make the player feel like they were making the game their own. Everything that relates to customization in our game has a currency price associated with it. The whole system is designed to give players freedom of choice to decide how they want to spend their currency. The currency system is a little different from purely just a level system. So in previous games, you would unlock all content based on your level. So as you progress through the ranks, you'd unlock, say, a perk. In the currency system, what happens is you unlock the main feature. So you'll unlock something like killstreaks or perks, and that unlocks all of them all at once. You then use the currency to purchase what you want from that category. Currency is, is a multiplayer-only feature. It is something you earn at each, at each rank progression. You also earn currency at the end of a match as a match bonus. With currency, you can buy weapons, weapon attachments, camo skins, customized red dot reticles. You can buy the ability to place your clan tag on your weapon. You can buy perks, you can buy kill streaks. Everything in the game is, is purchasable through the currency system. It allows you to play the game the way you want to play it. Especially the first person shooter gamer, they really want to create their own online identity and we're allowing them to do that now. There are 40 plus weapons in create a class inside of Black Ops and all of them have some level of customization. The emblem editor can be as simple or as complex as you want to make it. A player might choose just one icon that they like to represent them, and that keeps it very simple. But for somebody who's got particular creative skills or, or artistic skills, they can create some pretty advanced uh, looking images. It doesn't have any boundaries. It's completely limitless, the kind of ideas that you can come up with for creating your own online identity.